Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some recent reads and these are all new picture book titles that have come into my life over the last month and I wanted to share them with you. I have four fiction titles and one non-fiction so I thought I'd start with the non-fiction because it's the different one in the pile and that is Superpower by Philip Bunting. This is a non-fiction title about renewable energy, what it is, how we get it and why we need it. Now this is quite a text heavy book so this is probably not aimed at your younger picture book readers it's definitely probably a middle and upper primary book it basically has answers to all of the questions that kids might ask themselves about renewable energy it is told in typical philip bunting style really fun whimsical brightly coloured illustrations along with text and information that correlates with that. Philip Bunting is one of those authors that I find really switches between fiction and non-fiction picture book texts with the greatest of ease while still making all of his books seem like they fit together because of his illustrative style. But all of his non-fiction books are really fun because they make learning about something as complex as renewable energy really simple and fun and at times funny because he just has a really great way of injecting humor into the books so this is a really great one to add to your collection i have a whole stack of his fiction and non-fiction titles and i have enjoyed every single one of them then we have a little bit of respect by claire alexander this one i picked up because it is about respect and that's one of our school values and i'm always on the lookout for books that reflect the values that my school has it is about this little character here who is small and looks really cute and so all of the bigger characters in this world treat it like it's cute and tell it that it's very cute and essentially treat it like it's a baby and it gets very very upset by that because they're not showing it the same respect that they would other people just because of it's smaller and it looks different and it's a really great conversation starter for younger readers. I don't think this one translates as well to middle and upper primary just because of the way that it's been written but this is a really great way of showing younger readers ways of being respectful to other people and respecting their boundaries and respecting their right to say no hang on I don't like the way that you're talking to me at the moment because you're not showing respect and I think that's important. All right then we have Pocket Treasure by Wendy Sharetti and illustrated by Juliana Oakley. This one is about a young girl who has lots of clothes that she loves but her favorite is this yellow dress because it has pockets and anyone who wears dresses will know that pockets are like a precious commodity in any dress but her pockets are such a such a great size that she could fit in her favorite toys and she collects things kid little kids love collecting things in their pockets you find anything in there when she's in her class and her friends need things to finish off projects or their like drawings or craft projects or things like that she happens to have things in her pocket like a button for an eye or a feather to add to a collage and she gives them to her friends but then when she's outside she's making a mud pie for her teacher's birthday and she goes to add some things to it and she finds that her pockets are empty because she shared everything with everyone else and this makes her really sad until her friends then come back and are able to share the things that they have collected with her and it's this beautiful whimsical look at just being a child and having a wonder of just the little things in life like paper clips and string because they do and they do amazing things with it it's creative and it's fun I love the illustrations in it and there's some really great diversity in the cast so these are the main characters that we see in the story and then I have two Chris Horton books so I came to Chris Horton books through Oh No George which a colleague of mine shared with me last year and I'll have to bring it home and do a review of it because it's one of my favorite funny books but I've been meaning to pick up more of Chris Horton's books so I got these two and yes I know they're different formats I just picked up whatever I could find so there is Shh, we have a plan and this is a really funny tale of these characters who are trying to catch a bird and every time they get to the bird they're like Shh, we have to be quiet we've got a plan Shh, we've got a plan but every time they get there they scare the bird off until this little fellow down here who is trying to entice the bird in a way that doesn't mean hurting it manages to show them that perhaps their original plan is not the way to go and it's very funny and then this one don't worry little crab is an absolutely gorgeous book about the fear of the unknown so little crab and very big crab live in a rock pool and they are about to go and explore the ocean for the first time big crab is the one who is guiding little crab to the ocean and little crab is obviously very nervous because this is a big place big waves doesn't seem right and he doesn't really want to go but it's about having someone there with you in you know the scary moments in life and trusting yourself and trusting that things will be okay and it's just a gorgeous heartwarming story like I love this it's beautiful so those are some of my recent kids picture book reads I will leave them all linked down below for you in the comments I would love to know if you have read any of these or if you're planning on picking them up 
Alternatively, I would love to know if you have found any kids books recently that you have absolutely loved. Please share them with me and with anyone in the comments so that everyone can find recommendations. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a crab emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.